we now move on to actually loading llama 2 onto your local environment which you have so let's start from there so you start by importing auto tokenizers and essentially torch libraries and you need to specify the model which you want to run right once that is done we need to essentially load the tokenizer which is essentially a pre-trained tokenizer which includes all the tokens about on which the training has been done before so this is getting loaded and once that is done we'll also need to essentially download the pipeline so we are doing that as the next step which essentially enables us to do text generation on llama 2 and as you can see it is essentially downloading the this model you would roughly need about 12 uh, just higher than 12 gb of ram to essentially download this model now once this is done we can then start using this model for our prompts and getting the response from there so let's wait while the model is getting downloaded so now what we see is that the model is about to completely get downloaded and just to reiterate what we have done is we have downloaded the entire model into our local environment and what that enables us to do is now anything which we do is happening in our local environment we are not passing on our data to let's say chat gpt api or any external model whatever data i am generating remains in my environment from now on so let's go ahead and define a function which essentially accepts the prompt and returns the response which should be very similar to what we did in uh, using chat gpt right so again we define a function which is called get response again there are multiple parameters what is uh, key here is max length which is the maximum number of output tokens which you would want in your model so we define get response and again prompt is the input and we essentially get the sequences of generated text so once this is done we would now need to understand the prompt template right so the model has been trained using a specific template and each model has its own template so llama 2 has its own template if you pick up any other model it would have its own template so let's just spend a few minutes understanding what this template is looking like so it has a special token s which starts and ends uh, over here and then you have to provide the instruction within these brackets so the start is inst and the close is slash inst in between this you have to provide the instruction and the instruction itself you could have system prompt which goes in between sys and slash sys and the user message goes here right so this is the template in which the model has been trained and all our prompts to the model need to go in the same template so this is something which you will need to look at every time you do a different model you have to make sure that the prompting is in the template which is provided along with the model so let's say in this case i am uh, starting to play around with the model so the first prompt which i do and again it is in the same template so within the system prompt i am saying that you are a helpful respectful and honest assistant and i am setting up some expectations in terms of how i want it to behave and the specific prompt which i say is i liked friends and money heist which are two of the most popular web series recommend me the similar shows to watch again very minimal context which has been provided uh, the model would rely on its knowledge base to see what is friends and what is money heist and let's see what is the outcome by printing it so you might see that there is a marked difference in the time it essentially takes to get the response this is because this is now happening on a cloud hardware which is in this particular case google collab environment and that is why its performance may not be comparable to let's say what we have seen on chat gpt right so uh, here are some shows which it has been able to provide so what we can see is that the model can 
interpret simple commands and give us the right responses. Now, let's take a case study where we are essentially translating different product reviews. So, what we have is a set of product reviews and they are in different languages. Like in any multinational company, you could have reviews in different languages. What we want to do is take all of the reviews and then essentially translate them in so that people can understand what those reviews are saying. So that's what we will try and do. So the first thing which we want to do is just see whether we can use Llama 2 to do some simple translation. So what I'm doing is I have just uh, along with the prompt which I had given. So there is a system prompt. I'm also giving a user prompt and in this user prompt, I am simply asking it to convert a French a sentence into English and let's see what it does. Right. So, uh, as you can see, it has been able to convert this French statement into English and the user seems to be fairly happy. Now, given that we can do this, let's try and build a more generic translator, sort of a universal translator. So, there are, let's say, reviews in different languages and these are some of the reviews which we have. So, I'll just create a list and then what I'm doing is for each review, I'm passing on a prompt where I say that translate the given text in delimiters into English. So, again, delimiters, as you would remember, help us just structure the prompt better. And once we have a particular prompt, I'm asking it to print it in a particular format where I'm saying what was the review, what was the output and move on to the next line. So, let's see. It was able to convert the first one into English and it looks like it can, it is translated. Same thing in the second and the third review. So, what we have done is by simple prompt, we have actually created a universal translator where you just give the language without specifying what language it is. The model was able to use it and translate it and give us the output. Let us try further different language and this time what I am doing is I am saying that translate the following text into Spanish and German. So I am seeing if it is working with languages other than English as well and let's see what the model does. And it was able to do that and it also made a, a small note for you. So by simple prompts, we have been able to create a system which can translate any language into any language. And here is one which is translating it into Hindi. So now this time when it is translated it into Hindi, you can see that it was not able to translate the same sentences and there is a reason for it and we have seen this reason before. It is because when we do API calls just directly with the prompt, the model does not carry the history messages. So, so the same problem which we saw with ChatGPT also happens in this case. So what we need to now do is we need to pass on the messages the history messages along with the model and that is what we'll need to do when we want to enable the conversations using Llama 2.